Hello, and welcome to CADE, the Cost Assessment Data Enterprise. In this video, we will discuss how to view and download authoritative monthly data collection under the EVM or Earned Value Management process. Please keep in mind that all CADE training videos are recorded with FACADE so as not to disclose any proprietary data. The steps outlined in this tutorial apply equally to both CADE and FACADE. To begin this tutorial, we must first navigate to the desired report. For this example, we will be viewing the fictional program MQ-98 Airborne Guardian. You can navigate to a program of interest from your favorites or via search programs in the main menu, but in this case, we'll use the program search box. Simply type a few characters of the program's name, enter MQ, and the box will autofill with the matching programs. Clicking the desired name takes us to the program dashboard. From there, we can access the EVM data using one of two methods. Clicking the blue plus icon next to the desired contract in the Program Contracts and Data Availability table to view all EVM data for this program by task, and then using the blue icons at the left, or alternatively, by locating the EVM menu option and selecting Browse Data. By default, the table of contract tasks with available EVM data is collapsed with the first entry selected. We can click the drop down arrow to the right of the table to view the other rows and make a different selection. However, for this example program, there is only one contract with the reporting task, so we will keep the default selection. From here, we can browse the different EVM data formats. For example, let's click Browse WBS Elements. Here we can view cumulative Format 1 data by WBS Element. It is important to note that by default, the latest available period is selected. To return to the list of other formats to browse, click the Select View button. In addition to viewing the data in our browser, we are able to export in one of three ways, as a formatted Excel file, an analysis-ready flat file, or a raw XML file. To export EVM data, navigate to the EVM tab in the menu bar and select Export Data. To export as an analysis-ready flat file, make the appropriate selections in the All Periods Data Dump selection and click the blue Generate Data button to generate the job in the queue. Note that by default, all periods and IPMR formats 1 through 4 are selected. To export as a flat file in an alternative format, click on the Alternative Format 1 Data Dump section, make the appropriate selections, and click the blue Generate Data button to generate the job in the queue. This alternative form is generally recommended, but includes only Format 1, so the primary option is Date Range. To export as a formatted Excel file, click on the Formatted CPR Report section, make the appropriate selections, and click the blue Generate Report button to generate a job in the queue. Note that this will only give you a single monthly report at a time in the traditional format that many analysts are comfortable with. Lastly, to export as a raw XML file, we need to return to the dashboard and select the Export Download icon from the desired row of the EVM data subtable. In the Raw Files section, make the appropriate selections and click the Download Raw Files button to generate a job in the queue. EVM flat files can also be exported from the program dashboard via this pop-up window. Each file format has its advantages. Formatted Excel files are human-readable, but often difficult to do analysis on. XML files are designed for machine-to-machine -machine data interchange and not human readability, which makes them challenging to work with. Flat files are designed to give you the most analytical power and flexibility. In order to retrieve the exported files, navigate to MyCade in the menu bar and click Retrieve Files. Here we are presented with a list of available files for download in reverse chronological order with the most recent job on top. Note the type of export in the description. To download, click on the download icon for the desired files. If you have any additional questions, please contact the Cade Help Desk at cadesupport at techlody.com. Thank you, and welcome to Cade.